What is going on, y'all? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be ranking Christmas movies on, uh, obviously, the Tier Maker website. Who the hell doesn't use Tier Maker when they're making a tier list, obviously? Uh, this was preloaded already. Um, Christmas movies galore, tier list. I don't know who the hell made it. Uh, I'm just here to use it. Uh, so, basically, this doesn't go from S to F. Um, it's going from top of the nice list to great to all right to not the best to ho ho horrible and then haven't seen because there's going to definitely be some movies on here that I have not seen. Um, again, I'm not sure who the hell made it, but it's on here. Let's take a look at what's on here. So first up, we have Noel, which is a Disney Plus movie. Um, from what I remember, it's not that great. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to. I don't want to say ho ho horrible. Oh man. No, nah, I think we're going to throw it. I think we're going to go ahead and throw it in the ho ho horrible for the first movie. Just because there are so many better Christmas movies than Noel. Like there just is. So, uh let's move on to Merry Christmas Drake and Josh. Now, this was a movie I grew up with. Um and I liked it as a kid. But obviously, it's not the best. So we're going to go ahead and throw it in the not the best category. Uh, just because not everything is a winner, okay? Not everything is a winner. Uh, up next, we've got The Night Before, which is a Seth Rogen comedy with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Anthony Mackie. I actually just recently watched it. We're going to go ahead and throw it in not the best. Um, we can't just give everybody the top of the nice list or a great or an all right. Um, obviously, and look at all these movies that are through here. I mean, this is a lot of movies, so we, we gotta, we gotta start throwing some garbage stuff in the, uh, not the best slash ho-ho horrible sections. Up next, Eight Crazy Nights. I actually have it with me, uh, right now on DVD. It's literally next to me. Uh, this is a Hanukkah movie. It's not even Christmas, but, uh, tis the season. I'm gonna put it in the all right section. Um, I don't think it's, like, outstanding, but it is good. Like, it's a good movie. Um, definitely better than the other three posted beforehand. Uh, I'm going to be watching it in a couple days, actually. So, it, it's it's a good movie. Uh, a Christmas Story. I mean, you can't not put it on top of the nice list. All right? So many iconic moments with A Christmas Story. I mean, you got the ho, 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 Santa knocking him uh, down the, uh, the slide. You've got the tongue stuck to the pole. Uh, you've got the, uh, the, uh, the, the leg lamp, you've got the, oh, fudge, but he didn't say fudge, you know, like, there's just so many, uh, the Red Rider BB gun, I mean, the list just goes on with the Christmas story, um, and I've met a lot of people that don't love it, but you can't deny that it's one of the best Christmas movies that exists, it's obviously top of the nice list. Uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas, that's going in top of the nice list. feel like you can't really touch the Peanuts, which is the Charlie Brown gang. Uh, you, re you really can't. They're a classic. No matter what holiday their, uh, their, their special is, I feel like it's just always one of the best. Uh, you, you, can't, you cannot physically put them any lower than top of the nice list. Uh, then we've got A Christmas Carol, the Disney's 2009 one with uh, Jim Carrey. Um, I'm going to throw it in all right. Um, a lot of people enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's an all right movie. Um, it's not my favorite adaptation of A Christmas Carol. Um, the animation style has gotten really, really ugly as time goes on. Uh, like, it's just not impressive anymore. Uh, so, I don't know. It's just, it's just not my initial cup of tea when it comes to an animated film. Uh, just... I don't know. Jim Carrey delivers an amazing uh, performance as Ebenezer Scrooge, though. Uh, so let's move on. A Medea's uh, Christmas. I've never seen that movie. I'm not going to talk bad on it. I've never seen it. Um, the only Medea movie I ever saw was uh, Medea's Halloween, like uh, Boo and Medea Halloween. And that was weird. I ain't going to lie. Uh, up next, we've got Arthur Christmas. I've never seen Arthur Christmas either. Um, so I'm not going to talk shit on Arthur Christmas. Just because, who am I to talk shit on a movie I've never seen? Um, Bad Santa. I'm going to put this in the not the best category. It's a it's a good movie, but it's just not the best. 
Um, it's kind of in there with The Night Before. Um, it's a comedy that just so happens to have a ki- Christmas theme towards it. And, I mean, it, it's good. I enjoy watching it once, maybe every couple years. Um, it's just, there's so much more that's superior to it. it, it and, it's, and it's not ho-ho horrible. It certainly isn't. Uh, so moving on, we've got a Looney Tunes Baham Duck Christmas special. This was their version of A Christmas Carol. And this one, honestly, just because it brings back so many childhood memories, I'm going to throw it in the all right section. Um, I put it up there just because I remember watching this uh, with my uh, laying in my grandmother's bed uh, as, a, as a little kid, like sleeping over and, and waking up. And it was just on the Christmas. Uh, uh, it was like the Christmas movie on Cartoon Network. Um, and, and I just have that memory of being in my grandparents' house, uh, sleeping over, waking up, and that was on the TV, and laying in my grandma's bed, watching that with her. So it's got, like, a very big uh, connection with me to, uh, uh, you know, family members who have since passed. So for me, it's definitely up there. It's in that all right section. It, I'm not going to go ahead and put it top of the nice list or great because it's not a great movie, but it is definitely – um, a fun time. Um, we've then got, I don't even know what this is, a Barbie movie. I've never seen that, so we're going to go ahead and throw it in there. Oh, I think it's the Nutcracker. Is that what that is? But I've never seen it, so we're not going to go ahead and put it on here. Uh, Beauty and the Beast and Enchanted Christmas. We're going to throw this in the not the best category. Um, this was Disney's attempt at a sequel for the Beauty and the Beast movie, and I enjoyed it, um, but it's not the best. You know, it, it's it's a fun time and enjoyable when you're a child. And uh, actually, one of my um, more favorite Disney sequels that exists. But it's just not it's not great enough to throw it up top, especially with how many more movies there still are to come. Uh, we then have Babes in Toyland. Um, ah, I've seen it, but like it's been a really, really long time and I can't really remember it too well. So we're going to throw it in the haven't seen, uh, even though I've seen it, I don't remember it. So, uh, Casper's haunted Christmas. That's ho ho horrible right there. All right. I'm not going to deal with anyone talking differently. Casper's haunted Christmas is ho ho horrible. Uh, it's just, it just is. Um, daddy's home too. Ho ho horrible. Uh, I didn't like it. I thought it was lazy. Uh, the first one was by far superior. And even then, it's not that great. Um, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, but if we were to rank it as a Christmas movie, it's all right. Um, I don't think it's a Christmas movie. Um, the only time it gets watched around my household near Christmas is because my mother loves Bruce Willis, and she believes it's a Christmas movie. But I'm sorry, but a movie is that it's Christmas, and it's just a coincidence that it's Christmas time. Like it's just, it's just not. It's not a Christmas movie. But Deck the Halls, um, I have not seen this movie. Uh, I've heard decent things about it, but I have never seen it. So we're going to throw it in the haven't seen section. Um, Elf, Elf, I would put in the great tier. Um, it's not one of my favorites. It's not top of the nice list for me, but it's definitely one of those great movies that you have to watch it every year. Um, the problem with it for me is after like one or two times of seeing it, um, I'm just like, okay, that's enough. Please stop. And then it's on TV again a million more times. Um, we've got Eloise at Christmas time. Horrible. Ho, ho, horrible. Uh, this is a Disney movie. Um, I think it's a sequel to the first one. I think there's an Eloise takes over a hotel or whatever. She lives in a hotel. Uh, Eloise at the Plaza, I think, is the original one. Um, but this one, I don't like. All right, it's obviously not made for someone like myself, a a uh, a, a grown man. But um, I remember seeing it when I was like a teenager, and it was like, "What the fuck is this ripoff of Zack and Cody?" That's literally what it was like for me. So we're not gonna go through with that. Then we have Ernest Saves Christmas. We are throwing that in the ho ho horrible. I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of uh the Ernest movies. A lot of people love them. My favorite one is Scared Stupid, which is the uh. Uh, the Halloween one, but this one, it, I just can't get into it. I watched it earlier uh, this month. It's just not it for me. I can't get into it. Um, then what is this? Four Christmases, right? I think this is this next one. 
Uh, I've never seen it, so I'm not going to talk about it, but I've heard bad things. Uh, I've heard it's not the, f the funniest. I've heard it's not the best. Um, Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon, ah, you know, it's whatever. You know, you can't, you can't win them all. Uh, Fred Claus, I'm going to put this in the not the best. Oh, why did it do that? There we go. The not the best category just because it's not the best, you know, it's a good movie. Um, probably Vince Vaughn's best Christmas movie considering four Christmases sucks, uh, from what I've heard. Um, but just not better than what's above it, in my opinion. Um, and even in the not the best, in the not the best category is probably the top one with bad Santa right behind it. I won't lie, but it's just, it's just not the best Friday after next. I've never seen it. Um, I've only seen the first Friday movie, so we cannot go along with Friday after next. Um, Frosty the Snowman, top of the tier, top of the nice list. All right. Can't can't just not have Frosty the Snowman um, any lower. It, he, it's a classic. Um, and then this is the second Frosty the Snowman movie. I've not seen it. Um, I've never even like seen it on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, probably a really rare one to find. But that one is just something I've never gotten around to seeing. Most people probably haven't seen it. Uh, so that's where it's going. Uh, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, never seen it. Uh, probably never will. Doesn't sound like it's that interesting. Gremlins. This is another movie. It just so happens to take place around Christmas. It's not a Christmas like it's not a Christmas movie. It's like Die Hard. All right. It's not a Christmas movie. I'm throwing it in the all right category just because it's not a bad movie. Gremlins isn't. It's it's a classic, but it's just not. It's just not it. And what is this movie? Something season on Hulu. Happiest season? I've never heard of that. It's really hard to even read that. But uh, happiest season, never never heard of that. Uh, Home Alone 3 is... Mm, I don't want to throw it in ho-ho horrible. I want to throw it in not the best. Because as a kid, I genuinely really enjoyed um, the Alex Vincent character in Home Alone 3. It's obviously nowhere near as good as the first two. But it's... It's not ho ho horrible. I refuse to put it in that category. Home Alone, obviously top of the nice list. Home Alone two, um, we're gonna throw that one in great. We're gonna throw that one in great. Not as not as incredible as the first one. Uh, you have to watch the first one. Second one, it's not like recommend. It's recommended, but it's not like you you must watch it. You know what I mean? Um, what is it? I I would I would say that's probably the best, especially if Elf is in the great category. We gotta throw Home Alone two in the great category. Uh. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the live-action version. We're going to throw that in great, obviously. Uh, animated version, that's top of the tier. Without the Boris Karloff 1966 version, the Jim Carrey version's never happening. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and get over with that. P people are probably not going to enjoy the fact I threw that in great, but hey. It's a Wonderful Life. I've never seen it. I've never seen It's a Wonderful Life. I've heard incredible things about it. I've heard it's probably one of the best movies of all time, and I've never, ever seen the movie once in my life. Um, probably probably should get on to that, but eh, it's whatever. Jack Frost. Okay, so the way – I mean, obviously, this is my rankings of it all. I'm throwing Jack Frost in the all right section just because I loved this movie growing up. I mean, I loved it, and not many people enjoy it. Um, a lot of people say it's really stupid. It was a flop in the box office, but I think it's good. Um, it's definitely not as great as like Elf or Home Alone 2 or the Grinch, but that's why it's in that all right uh, position. You know what I mean? It's, it's not the greatest, but it's all right. And I watch it every single year. Jingle all the way. I'm also throwing in the all right section. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, obviously, um, his big Christmas film, uh, it, it's something that I watch every single year. I have it to my 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 left here, and it's just it's just it's just something incredible that you gotta you got you gotta watch every year. But it's not better than the movies above it. It's just not. Uh, we then have Krampus. I've never seen Krampus, so Krampus is down in the haven't seen section. And actually, for a guy who owns lots of movies and sees a lot of movies, I have not seen a lot of Christmas movies, and it's kind of annoying to me right now. Last Holiday, haven't seen it. Uh, so that's another one added to the haven't seen section. 
Uh, there's just so many Christmas movies, and there's still a lot more to go. It's crazy, actually. Um, Love Actually. We are throwing Love Actually in the all right section just because it is probably one of my more favorite um, romantic Christmas movies, but it's not better than uh, Jack Frost or Jingle All the Way, and I, I respectfully put them in the all right category, so uh, Love Actually can't go higher than that. Uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, um, yeah, that's gonna go in the not the best, and then Mickey's Twice Upon the Christmas, that's going in the ho-ho horrible. Um, the first one isn't bad, second one just isn't good <laughs> at all, um, so that's just no further explanation needed. Watch the first one, don't watch the second one. Uh, the uh, remake of Miracle on 34th Street, I saw that. I think that's all right. You know, uh, it's been a long time. We're going to throw it in the all right section. I've never seen the original, but I do own it. Um, we got to watch that at some point, but I have not seen it. So Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, uh, we're going to throw that in the not the best category. I've seen that once or twice as a little kid. Uh, it's been a long, long time, but I don't remember hating it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go with that. Up next, one of my favorite movies of all time. The Muppet Christmas Carol, top of the nice list. Uh, Michael Caine as Ebenezer Scrooge. Obviously, we've got Miss Piggy, Kermit the Frog, Fozzie Bear. Gonzo playing Charles Dickens. Rizzo the Rat is there with Gonzo, telling the story of Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, we've got incredible songs. I mean, one of my favorite, not even just Christmas movies, but movies of all time. Um, and same with the uh, Baham Duck. It dates back to being a little kid and being with my grandmother, and watching it. So, one of my favorite movies of all time, period. Uh, so, that's obviously going to be top of my nice list. Um, Mixed Nuts is not the best. Not ho-ho horrible, but not the best. Um, that's obviously a, a movie Steve Martin stars in. Um, I've seen it once, and I think that was last Christmas. It, it, it's it's a movie. It exists. Uh that's really all that it, there is to say about it. Christmas Vacation, top of the nice list. One of the one of the classics. Um, I just watched that last night on my projector screen. Uh, so like it's just it's just one of those movies that you, you get overly hype about it. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things you, you gotta love. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I personally think this is more Halloween than Christmas, but. We're going to throw it in the great section just because it is a great movie. Um, and I hadn't seen it up until about two or three years ago for the first time ever. But it is fan friggin tastic. Uh, up next, we got all of the other reindeer. This is definitely in the all right section. Um, Drew Barrymore playing all of the other reindeer. Uh, fantastic, fantastic movie. We'll never not love Drew Barrymore as all of all right, so up next, we've got the Office Christmas Party. Uh, that's going in the not the best category. Uh, it's one of those movies that, like I said, uh, with uh, Bad Santa the night before, um, they, they're they movies that just so happen to take place around Christmas. They're just not incredible. They're not. They're movies that it's like, okay, well, it'll make money because it's funny. You know what I mean? That's literally it. Um they get one big name and they just roll with it. Um, it, it it's an okay movie. I, I I do watch it every so often around Christmas time, um, but not every year. Rise of the Guardians. I have it on 3D Blu-ray. Actually, never seen it though. I've had it for a couple years now and I just haven't watched it. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Untouchable, top of the nice list. Um, Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys. We're going to go ahead and throw in uh, not the best. It's not ho-ho horrible. I like it. I enjoy it. The animation obviously sucks um, if you look back on it. But as a little kid, I enjoyed it. Um, and I watched it about, uh, yeah, I watched it last Christmas. And I could still enjoy it. It's just not, the animation is horrid though. Uh, Santa Buddies, mm, we're going to throw that one in horrible, ho-ho horrible. Just because I don't really particularly like it. Um, I own it. I don't like it. 
Santa Claus is coming to town, untouchable, top, top tier. Uh, Scrooged, I've never seen it. I bought it recently for like five dollars on Blu-ray. Have never seen it. Uh, Snow Globe, never heard of it. So, there we go. That's going in the not seen list. SpongeBob Christmas, is this the one where they're like the uh, that weird animation style? If so, that's ho ho horrible, my boy. That is god awful. Um, Christmas Chronicles, never seen that. Uh, we're gonna throw one and two in the haven't seen list, uh, just because I've never seen either of them. Uh, the newest Grinch, 2018. I've not seen that yet. I don't even own that one yet. Um, like I said, a lot of Christmas movies that I just haven't gotten to see yet. Perfect Holiday. That's nope. That's haven't seen. Uh, the Legend of Frosty the Snowman. Uh, we're going to throw that in Ho-Ho Horrible. I don't enjoy it. I own it on DVD. I don't like it. Um, what is it? This next movie? I saw a meme the other day that says, Growing up is literally just you recognizing that there was nothing good about the Polar Express. And honestly, I kind of agree. I saw this movie in the theaters it's obviously still sitting in the all right section, but so many people put it like top of their list or at great. And it's like, it's not, it's not that incredible. It's really not Tom and Jerry's a nutcracker tale, right? Isn't that what it is? Uh, I've never seen it. So that's going in the haven't seen list, but, uh, the preacher's wife never even heard of that one. Uh, trading places. Is this a Christmas movie? Trading is trading places a Christmas movie. Hold on, because I feel like we need to figure this out now. Is, is Trading Places a Christmas movie? But because the film takes place in Philadelphia during Christmas, there are plenty of holiday gags that add to the... I don't remember it being around the Christmas time. But, hey, man. Okay. Well, it's a great movie. One of my favorite Eddie Murphy movies. One of my favorite Dan Aykroyd movies. So that's going in the great tier, even though it's not technically Christmas. But, okay, that's fine. Uh, the Santa Claus, I would put in great. Uh, we're going to go Santa Claus 2 is also great. Santa Claus 3 is all right. Not not as good as the first two. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. The Ultimate Holiday. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that one. But, um, Twas the Night Before Christmas, I haven't seen that before. Uh, Twas the Night, that's ho-ho horrible. <laughs> Disney Channel movie, right? But that, that one's not good. Uh, Unaccompanied Minors is alright. Uh, it's one of those movies that I feel like people don't remember. It's, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a good time. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, A Very Merry Pooh Year, that's not the best. If we're gonna be honest here, it's not the best. I just watched that recently with my three-year-old nephew, and even he was like, no, we, we watched Paw Patrol. And I was, all right, whatever. You know, it, it's not the greatest movie. I I enjoyed it, but uh, only because I remember watching it as a little kid. Christmas with the Cranks. Ah, oh, man, that's that's all right. It's not it's not in the great category. It's it's really not. Year Without a Santa Claus. Uh, we're going to throw it in all right for a second so that I could scroll up. But that is a great movie. I'm not putting it in top of the nice list, but um, it has some of the most memorable music ever with the uh, the heat and snow miser. Oh, my God. I could sing that all day, every day. Uh, we've got 8-Bit Christmas. Never heard of that one. Why him? This movie is ho-ho horrible. I love Brian Cranston, but that movie just... It gave me such weird vibes the entire movie, and I will never not get over it. I remember when it was getting released, and I was like, oh, shit, this might be good. Awful. Awful. Quite literally one of my least favorite movies so far through this list. Uh, Littlest Light, never heard of it. We're not going to go ahead and get through it. This version of Santa Claus, I've never heard of, so we're not going to go through with it. Tokyo Godfathers, never heard of it, so we're not going to go through with it. Uh, never saw that one. What is that? Just Claws? 
Uh, Remember the Night, never heard of that one. Holiday Inn, I stayed in a Holiday Inn once, but not that one. Jingle Jangle, never heard of it. Uh, Never heard of this movie about Lewis Street. Or Saint, or meet me in St. Louis. I said Lewis Street because I re- I have dyslexia. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's talk about it. Uh, the man who invented Christmas. Never seen that one. Uh, a buttons a Christmas tale. Never heard of that one. White reindeer. Never heard of that one. Uh, what the hell even is this one? I don't know. I haven't heard of that one. Let it snow. Um, is this the movie? I think it is. I need to double check what movie let it snow is because if it's the one i think it is um and it's not terrible okay yeah okay it's that netflix movie with uh the couple the one dude's famous like he's like a a famous dude all right so cool that movie i did see it's not the best it's not ho ho horrible uh so we're gonna go throw that in the not the best category um christmas in the square i've never heard of that one uh, a Brady, uh, a very Brady Christmas. Uh, I, I, mm, we're throwing it in ho ho horrible. I've seen it like once, and it really wasn't that good. Uh, what is this right here? See, my issue is, I don't know how the hell to read. Like, I feel like that's hard to read. Like, what even is that? I can't tell. But uh, then we've got this, which I don't even know what that is. So that's going in there. Uh, what is this? I I don't know what the hell this is. I I just can't even tell. Something about Disney Plus, but I really don't know what it is. Let's zoom in. Solar Opposites? Never heard of it in my entire life. Okay. Oh, and this is Hawkeye. Wait, why the hell is Hawkeye in here? I, I haven't watched Hawkeye yet. Why the hell is Hawkeye on this list? I feel like that's weird. Um, the Holiday. All right, let's zoom out real quick. Uh, the Holiday definitely belongs in the great section. Uh, better than Love Actually. This one is my favorite Christmas love story. So The Holiday, which is Jude Law, uh, Cameron Diaz, Jack Black, and Kate uh, Winslet. One of, the, one of the best romantic movies probably ever in my opinion. Powerpuff Girl Christmas, never even heard of that one. Is that the original or the remake? That's what I need to figure out. Um, oh, that's the re- that's the that's the original. All right, a Bad Mom's Christmas. That one is ho ho horrible. Um, no way around that. Twelve Dates of Christmas, ho ho horrible. White Christmas, I've never watched that. The Ref is not the best. Die Hard Two. Again, I don't really consider it Christmas, but it's all right. And the last one, I can't read it, so let's get all the way down here. Holiday Affair, have not seen it. So, holy shit. That took a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. So, obviously, I haven't seen a lot. I feel like a lot of these, though, are movies a lot of people haven't seen. Um... I feel like it's a good list, though. But, yeah, no, that's it, guys. That's everything I've watched. Uh, Well, not everything I've watched Christmas-wise. There's tons of more Christmas movies that just weren't on this list. But uh, that is my Christmas ranking list from what I was, you know, given on this uh, tier list. So if you enjoyed it, let me know down below. Uh, I was going to make an Omegle video, but I decided to do this instead um, just because I enjoy ranking things. And I feel like this is a fun thing to do. Uh, So I'm definitely going to go ahead and do some more rankings um, in the future, very near future. I enjoyed this Um, with tons of other stuff. So if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, anything you want me to rank, go ahead and leave that down below. Uh, And thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys in the next one.